Okay, so when you're making a video, you should always remember to change the batteries in the camera first. So we lost our place. I promise I haven't done anything in the meantime um, on the fountain. But uh, we were saying we want to make sure that the, this wide, wide part of the screen does not match up with this. So we're going to flip this thing over here. You need an extra set of hands. Get those. And you can see how this cord lies down in the crease of the fountain float there. Take the bottom screen, place it on the gear. So, make sure our cord is not pinched. Make sure it's in that little valley in the float. Make sure, oops, see we've got a wing that's coming into contact with it there. I'm going to turn it slightly so that it doesn't match up with our bolt holes. These bolts are a 9 16 bolt. It has a stainless steel clip. You're going to use a washer on this side. You're going to use a washer on the other side as well. This little clip has two little fingers and it's going to fit over one of the bars like that. So it's just going to fit those two fingers on either side of one of these and then over that main bar that comes around. We're going to bolt it in. Better. 9 16 bolt, washer. Washer again. And this is a uh, nylon locking nut, 9 16 All right, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And then we're going to go ahead and then uh, bolt those down with the uh, two 9 16 wrenches. These clips do allow for some, some play. So you can move this around just a little bit. One of the main things you want to make sure that there's good clearance between the motor and this inside ring. If it doesn't, a very slight vibration of the motor will uh, make that, that uh, kind of sing out there in the pond, the vibrations just make a little bit of noise there. So, we've got good clearance, got one finger running around there. We've got the 9 16 bolt. One other thing, these are just little noise reducing cushions. We're going to put those one over here. Just put those on that, that base bar that runs around the edge of the fountain. One over here. It's just a small rubber piece, again, just to reduce any vibratory noise that you might get from your motor. We want to hear that, that nice falling water. We don't want to hear any motor noise. And although ours are, are very quiet, we just want to take every precaution to make uh, that experience the best it can be. Okay, we're ready to bolt down. Move this out of the way. You can use a ratchet, or I kind of have this, it's a little bit of a different kind of wrench. Just allow me to twist it around. Very durable. Connection there. Takes a few turns to get it on, so. Make sure we haven't moved our screen. You make sure our cord is aligned in that valley so that it doesn't get pinched as we move this down. And we are fully assembled with our 3400 VFX. 
We're ready to go to the pawn. We're going to need either two places to tie this off with our mooring lines. Again, this is a 50 foot mooring line, so you have two 50 foot, foot lengths there. You can use that. You can tie them to the side of the pond bank or you can use cinder blocks to weight those down into the mud. The only other tool that you'll need is your screwdriver and you can just hang this with a deck screw at the, the pond edge. This is what the inside of the timer looks like. This is your GFI tester. This is for your lights. This is for your unit. 24 hour timer. On off switch. And red means stop and green means go on these uh, pegs. So you set them wherever you want. You can turn your fountain on um, and off twice a day if you like. This is going to exit out to the bottom of this hole. And so you've got a nice weatherproof box. Your fountain unit can come in through this, this hole here and plug right into the bottom. Again, ready to hang on the post. Then you're ready to plug your fountain into this, this into your 120 volt outlet that you supply at the pond bank, and you're ready to turn on your fountain and test it.